Minister, sorry, Treasurer, um, if the world does not meet the target set at the Paris Climate Conference to keep global warming below two degrees, will this be a significant threat to the New South Wales budget and the future prosperity of New South Wales? <coughs> Um, can you perhaps elaborate on your question in how you see the threat to the budget by the Paris Agreement or otherwise? The threat... <laughs> Yeah, I'm just asking you to make the link between how you see a decision there impacting the state budget so I can answer your question fully. Well, if the, government, the world doesn't meet its commitment to keep global warming below two degrees, if it doesn't meet it, yeah. what impact will that have on, bud on the budget and the future prosperity of New South Wales? Um, I have to confess, I'm not sure I understand the question, but I'm happy to answer the fact that as a government, we have um, clear targets on uh, use of renewable energy. Uh, we have clear targets on um, various other uh, environmental um, uh, impacts, uh, and they're all obviously in the budget papers, they're all forecast. Um, if you're asking me whether uh, we intend to meet all of our targets in relation to uh, renewables, in relation to sustainable outcomes in various industry, uh, the answer is yes. Um, I really don't have anything add to add further unless you have a more specific question. Yeah. Well, specifically, has the, has the Treasury done any modelling of the these three scenarios that were considered in Paris of various uh, trajectories for global warming? <laughs> has the government done any modelling of those and the potential impacts of those scenarios on the budget? and on the prosperity of New South Wales? Yeah, I would assume that any uh, such um, modelling would be done after any decisions were made. So I don't anticipate... But the decisions have been made. No, 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 but you're saying if, par if the Paris agreements aren't met. You're, you're suggesting... No, the, no, no. no the you're saying the 2% two, the two agreement, so you're saying... Yeah, and within that 2% yeah. that, two, that 2 degree, there were various models. Are, are, yeah. are the, are the, is the Treasury modelling potential climate change scenarios and the impacts yeah. of those on the budget? Well, we certainly do modelling in relation to a number of um, environmental and climate change issues regarding renewables, regarding um, other, other commitments to which the government's made in relation to uh, environmental issues, but I'm not sure if... Uh, so you can't like say to. here whether or not you've got modelling done that... We've got lots of modelling done on but sustainability. On well, sustainability, I, I but it is a, it's a, quite a big issue. Yeah, and, and I, I might just ask um, Carolee to, to answer that question. Yeah. We do not have specific modelling around the details of any impacts of, uh, of, of climate change on the state budget. Our focus around modelling has been very much on the fiscal sustainability of, uh, of New South Wales, on the fiscal position of New South Wales. Do you think that in order potential to, um, impacts of climate change ha will have an impact on fiscal sustainability? <laughs> Um, our emphasis is really understanding the long-term fiscal position of New South Wales to ensure that New South Wales is able to understand and deal with any future challenges and shocks that may arise. One of those challenges will inevitably be climate change. But and you're not modelling a number for of, uh, No, it, the, any detailed no. modelling around the impact of climate change is a matter that's best uh, addressed for the Minister for Environment. So, you, so it, is a, it, is a, it is a risk, but you, and you're modelling for risks and potential impacts, but uh, so, so you model for those, but climate change is not one of those, mm -hmm. Treasurer, that you're modelling for at the moment. We haven't done any details. So that, that was a question around. to the Treasurer. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's my understanding. Okay, that's yeah. very, very interesting uh, that we're not mod doing any modelling for but, but, potential but, impacts of climate but, change. But, Mr Buckingham, can I say that we, we do do modelling around um, renewables regarding mm. other targets which the government has set on ourselves and other regulators have set on ourselves. So the fact that we haven't done specific modelling around uh, the question you put to us does not mean we're not involved in, in modelling of other natures. So what are, what are the renewable energy targets for New South Wales? Yeah, I can tell you that in a second. I think it's 20% by, 20 renewables by 2020, but in I'll just New, check in that. In New South Wales? Yeah, yeah, I'll just check that, though, if you give me a second. Um, well, you can take that on notice, because I've very... Oh, I'm happy to get it to you before the end of the meeting. Sure, yeah. thank you, Treasurer. When, Treasurer, when do you expect New South Wales to stop exporting coal? Um... Justin? Uh, <laughs> distracted at all. Yes, this is an interesting question. 
down. Potentially better, your, better given to the minister. My, my, my response is as good as anybody's guess, but I do have a response to the just to the previous question you gave on the renewable energy. Oh, no, we took that on notice. So no, I'm happy to give it to you now. Well, I, look, you, oh, you took that on notice. Actually, I was correct. Good memory. It's 20% renewable energy by 2020. Oh, there you go. Which is what so I said. The, the yeah. state... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In, in September 2013, the New South Wales government released the New South Wales Renewable Energy Action Plan to support a target of 20% renewable energy by 2020. And I'm sure the Minister for Environment can talk at length about that, but I did remember that statistic. Yeah, but you're yeah. half that. No, no, no. I'm sorry? When do you, Minister, when do you expect New South Wales to stop exporting coal? I have no idea, and uh, and that is that is not a... That is not a um, uh, that you is not no a idea. question. Well, it's no, entirely that is, in the remit of the minister. Can, can I say? But not just that. Uh, not just that. Can not I say? Uh, I appreciate the sentiment behind the question you're asking. Uh, it's not to be in the foreseeable future. <laughs> So we not in like within a generation or two. Like Look, I'm not going to I'm not going to put a time frame on that. Uh, you know, I'll I'll ask you to. Doesn't no, it's okay. The, doesn't the Treasury do intergenerational reports? Yes, but we and don't didn't, didn't we don't make predictions uh, like that one. We certainly. Yes, but Minister, you do. In actual fact, page 75 of the 2016 intergenerational report, uh, there is a discussion of royalty revenue in which it says. I remember that. Yeah. You do remember that. I do. Yeah. You just said you don't make predictions on. No, no, coal, no, 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 no. You said. Your specific question was, when will we stop exporting coal? We don't make predictions on the final date to which that will occur. But, but I can you, tell you, you this. you expect we, uh, in some stage we will? Uh, well, if you're asking me in 100 years, 200 years, I mean, who knows where technology is taking us? I don't know the answer to that question. And I don't think anybody would expect me to. Do you know the answer? Mm. Well, I'd hope it'd be. <laughs> do, you, do you have Jeremy any idea? Well, according, according to the scientists, it should <laughs> be within the next three to five years, we should stop exporting our coal. Oh, so but, that's, but your, that's interesting. Your, 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 your intergenerational yeah. report, which yeah. doesn't mention climate change, says that states levy mineral royalties on the extraction of mineral resources Currently, 87% of this th of, the, of this is thermal coal. Mineral volumes are projected to grow by 1.2% a year in the long term, in line with estimates from Commonwealth Department of Industry, Innovation and Science. If coal output grows in line with these figures, then that means by 2056 we'll be extracting over 325 million tonnes of coal per year for a total or a total of over 10.5 billion tonnes mined between now and 2056. Do you see seriously expect us to still be mining that quantity of coal at almost double the rate we currently are in 2056. And this is according to your modelling in your intergenerational no, report. Exactly. Now, the purpose uh, of the intergenerational report is to provide a look at the next 40 years in the absence of any government intervention. So the whole purpose of the report is to say, if government does not change its decision making today, if government does not intervene this is what will happen in 40 years' time. So we use the intergenerational report, which comes out every five years, as an opportunity to look at the trends and then to make decisions on things which we would like to change so those trends are changed. So the whole context of the IGR in relation to those issues is what would be the outcome on current trends, and we specifically used figures provided by the federal body to be consistent, so they're not our figures, they're figures used by a federal body, and what that that tells us is if the, if government if state government does not intervene, <coughs> if we do not increase our um, reliance on renewables, that is the outcome. So then it's a decision for government as to what extent we intervene to stop that trend. Do you, you should intervene to stop that trend. Well, I would like us to obviously meet our target that we set in 2013 about 20% renewables by 2020, and that's clearly well, that's a separate issue to exporting coal. Oh, well, not really, because if you have if you can rely on other sources of energy and, and other... coal exports are different. To our own domestic demand. No, I appreciate that, but but what I'm suggesting to you is um, that we do have opportunities to intervene if we want to stop that trend. <coughs> Thank you, uh, Minister, Treasurer. Uh, just some general questions from me. Has there been any additional?